You see, Apple Watch is the watch that literally everybody craves on. We have normal looking ones, ceramic ones, the $1,800 Hermes edition with the leather band, and heck, we even have an 18 karat gold first edition which is quite ridiculous. Apple Watch is becoming one of the most popular watches in this world, not only in the smartwatch category, but also in the traditional watch market as well. In 2020, 35% of Apple users in the United States owned an Apple Watch, which will be around 73.8 million people just in the US using the same exact watch. I mean, the series are different and there's like multiple materials, but you get my point. Enough with the fun facts. This is how I use my Apple Watch to make it worth it and why you should buy an Apple Watch in 2022. Let's stop talking and let's get right into it. Apple Watch is one of the fastest way to access your mobile payment. And honestly, if you live in a country that supports Apple Pay for, let's say, metro transportation, I mean, you literally cannot live without an Apple Watch. It's just so convenient. For example, in Japan, we do have this metro card called Suica, and you can literally build this thing right into your Apple Watch. And literally, this thing is saving me so much time. And you can literally pay anything with Suica in this country. You can go to convenience store, you can pay your metro transportation. And not only that, in Japan, we do have so many vending machines, and most of them does support Suica. So once you put Suica in this thing, you're just like in the ultimate form. Using Apple Watch to track your fitness goals isn't really ideal because every number that's on the every fitness device, it's not super accurate. You only want to use this thing as a measure, not a complete solution. So just be aware of that. However, I love to use this thing to check almost every health aspects in my life. I know that is kind of contradicting, but I still do. Let's be honest, the competitive aspect of you and your friend competing with the fitness goals, it's kind of useful to hold on to your accountability and creating accountability buddies so you will achieve your fitness goal. And not only fitness, but I do track all of my sleep and heart rate on an Apple Watch as well. Tracking my sleep with Apple Watch is pretty good because I can kind of see why I'm groggy today if my sleep is kind of off or even if I thought that I slept for a long time my Apple watch will tell me that I only slept for let's say like six hours which is kind of not enough for me I do want to sleep over seven hours so that's the best way to track sleeping for me using an Apple watch but not only that this is my favorite feature of this device but if you sleep with someone like for me I sleep with my girlfriend this thing will vibrate to wake you up. You don't have to listen to that lousy ass sound of an iPhone's alarm clock anymore. This thing will vibrate on your wrist and you will wake up. And the way that you wake up with the vibration is just very soothing. I mean, that sounds super wrong, but it's pretty true. You don't have to bother anyone to wake up. All you need is this good vibration, like for real. If you're considering to buy series six or above, I do have SE, so I don't have this feature, but what you can use is ECG. I forgot the acronyms for ECG, but this ECG feature is extremely useful for people with heart problem because this thing will calculate your average heart rate. And when your heart is having some sort of problem, if the rhythm of your heart rate is beating weird or if it's like too fast or too slow your apple watch will notify you and i saw a bunch of articles on the internet that it helped a lot of people for saving their life so if you do have some sort of heart problem or if you're kind of concerning about your heart health please get over series six because this can potentially save your life. When you lost one of your Apple device, the best way to find that device is to use the Find My app. And you can use it on your Apple Watch as well. All you need to do is go to the Find My app and simply play the sounds from your iPhone. This literally saves so much time in my life looking for my phone. And not only that, but this thing show a map as well. So if you lost your thing like far away from you, if you have a cellular model, you can literally find any of your Apple device wherever you are from this thing. Or you you can just ask Siri. Hey Siri, where's my iPhone 13 yes. Pro? Where's my iPhone 13? I don't know about the bigger 42 millimeter, but if you have a smaller Apple Watch like me, it's kind of hard to type on your wrist. It seems that some people are not really complaining using the keyboard on this thing, but to me, I do have thick fingers, I guess, so I can't really use my finger to, you know, type on this device. 
It's just literally impossible. However, you can set custom replies on your iPhone and just register on your Apple Watch. And all you need to do is just simply tap on your wrist and reply to those iMessages. To do this setting, open Watch App, scroll down and tap on Messages, tap on Default Replies, you do already have this thing called smart replies, but if you want to make an extra, go to add replies, then create your own custom messages and just type done. And this is pretty much how you make custom messages. It's extremely simple and extremely useful. In 2022, let's be honest, no one is really calling each other now, but there's a way to silence your phone call on your Apple Watch. And if you have a phone call from some of your friends or someone that's important from you and you don't want to hang it up, but you still kind of need to silence the phone call all you need to do is just cover your apple watch with your palm and the phone call will be silenced and last but not least unlocking your macbook with the apple watch is a pretty cool feature and especially if you're a prime time mac user you definitely need this feature if you buy this device to set this up go on your mac go to system preference click security and privacy and then click general select use apple watch to unlock apps and your mac or select allow your apple watch to unlock your mac but yeah that's pretty much it anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't know how many times i said apple watch on this video but i hope you guys enjoy it apple watch is a really cool device and it literally made my life a little bit a tip bit more better than just buying a normal watch for me and especially if you're a gym rat and you're playing music and you don't really want to touch your phone because it's low-key kind of distracting apple watch is really good as well and if you love to listen to podcasts or audio audiobook using apple watch is one of the best way to control it and not only that if you get the cellular model you will unlock way more features than the normal gps wi-fi model so i highly recommend the cellular model if you can afford an extra data plan or you know just if you have a bunch of data only in the three gigs data plan so i don't really need cellular model but if you can afford it Go for it, Tiger. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. And one of the most recent videos is going to be right here. And one of my favorite videos is going to be right here on my channel, right here. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great, awesome day. My name is Peace Gates. You guys already know. Peace out, guys.